President Trump taking the international spotlight at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, speaking about putting America first and the global economy. So no surprise uh, that he's touting the power of the U.S., Ryan, but we do, right, we do know that the IMF actually downgraded U.S. growth here just in the past 24 hours. U.S. growth expected at 2 percent this year versus global growth of about 3.3 percent. Are you anticipating that foreign money continues to flow into the U.S. and investments here in the stock market, or we see a tapering off of that in the new year? Yeah, well, the dollar is already starting to weaken. So I think finally that trend might assist, you know, might stop a little bit and we're going to see money flow around the world, which we'd like to see. I mean, the dollar's been so freaking strong, um, which is a problem for exports and things like that. So there's some negatives there, too. But, yeah, I think finally we're going to start investing in other markets and other places, which is a good thing. Global growth is a good thing for everybody. Well, it's not just Davos that's happening right now. Impeachment also taking center stage with the trial beginning today. Ryan, why do you think impeachment hasn't affected the markets? Well, because it just doesn't matter, Tim. Um, let's, you know, let's be real, right? We have the Senate's controlled by the Republicans. Nothing's going to really happen. It's great theatrics, but the market hasn't reacted at all. I mean, it's a non-event. Uh, the Illuminati over there in Davos, Paul <laughs> Tudor Jones, Steve Schwartzman, basically saying that the market looks frothy at these levels. It's hard to find a great value. Uh, Ryan, where are you finding value in this market? Well, I think internationally does look good. Um, I think if you look at valuations overseas, they're very attractive versus the U.S. If you look at global growth, I think it's starting to reaccelerate, which is a good thing as well. So you have that reacceleration of growth. You have low multiples around the world. And even if you look in the U.S., if you're discerning, like value stocks here are very cheap versus growth stocks. So if you kind of break out asset classes, you get some great value right now as an investor. So President Trump uh, still taking on the Fed despite multiple rate cuts last year. Let's listen to what he said earlier this morning in Davos. And even now, as the United States is by far the strongest economic power in the world, it's not even close. They're forced to compete, and we compete with nations that are getting negative rates, something very new, meaning they get paid to borrow money, something that I could get used to very quickly. Love that. Okay, the talking point of negative rates uh, still yeah. not going away in 2020. Ryan, what are you anticipating in the showdown between the Fed and President Trump this year? Well, it's absurd, first off, because, you know, rates Why? around the – well, first off, global rates are actually starting to go up around the world. You know, we had like $8 trillion worth of negative yielding securities in the summer. Now we're down to $11 trillion. Rates are starting to go back up. The Fed's not going to do anything this year because Jay Powell's afraid to do anything during election year. So they're going to stay put. Nothing's going to happen with interest rates, but long-term rates could go up. That's my bold prediction here, Sean. I don't know that long-term rates could go up. I think the Fed's going to try and keep them suppressed for the most part. I think if they do go up, and they go up because inflation occurs and the Fed's not able to stop that, and then we go to negative rates because of that, that's, we have a real economic problem at that point. So the Fed is doing everything they're supposed to be doing right now. We know that they've got this put under the stock market. That's another reason the market remains firm. But as far as interest rate goes, I, I just if we ever get into negative rates in the United States, something is far wrong.